Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun today to sit down and design my entire bedroom with you guys. And this really isn't something I do for all of my makeovers, as many of you know if you've watched my channel in the past. And also, if you are wondering where I'm at right now, I'm in my little office space that I just recently transformed. This area in front of me used to all be built-in cabinetry that I just never used. I love it so, so much. And if you watch those videos, you would know that this space actually transitions into my bathroom here, and then my bedroom's just right on the opposite side. So the next room that we are gonna be working on in the house is my bedroom. I'm gonna pop up some clips of my bedroom here. It is such a beautiful space. It kind of has this little bay window pop out section on the back side. And I've been thinking about this space for probably a good two months now. And I feel like I have a grasp on like what general idea I wanna do, but today we're gonna build it out together and kind of get the entire room designed on a board and share with you my design process, some of the preliminary steps that I take along the way. And also we might order some things and find some stuff on Marketplace. So let me share with you what we're working with. Also quickly, totally forgot to mention, we are having a 15% off site-wide sale over on Lone Fox for Valentine's Day. And you all know, I love you guys so much. So definitely take advantage of that site-wide and orders over 99 always ship for free. <laughs> I my new Lenovo board here and we're probably going to primarily be on this screen just so you guys can kind of see the whole process of everything I'm doing. And also if you have no idea what Mila Note actually is, this is not sponsored. I just absolutely love using them for all my projects. So any type of design project, my design projects are here. I also curate kind of mood boards here and do a lot of that stuff in this area. It's almost like Pinterest if you're able to create your own pin boards and then move everything around and kind of customize it. That's why I love it. So I want to share with you kind of some of what I've already decided for this bedroom. I've had this inspo photo saved for probably two and a half, three months now. And this photo is the one that I'm using for color reference. And I have absolutely been loving like a light buttery yellow with kind of like a navy or a royal blue, that combination. If you remember the dog bed that I shared in the Winston video when I got him, we just found a dog bed that matches the color palette of my room makeover, which has not come to the channel yet. That was kind of like the key color palette. I do think the ceiling mustard tone is not what I want to go for. So I am going to go ahead and just kind of screenshot this image, just probably right about here-ish. And we're going to add it to our Milanote board. So I just added and dropped that in. This is just going to give us a little bit more of kind of a guideline. Really like the yellowy cream colored wall. And I like the tone change above that. So I really want to do that in my room where the ceiling has a little bit of a darker tone than the wall and it's separated by two blue lines. So the background color that you see is tallow from Pharaoh and Ball and then this color here is Pharaoh's Cream also from Pharaoh and Ball and then we have Hogue or Haug Blue and these are the colors I think I'm going to be using. I still have to test them of course when we get into the actual makeover process in the bedroom. I love the colors together so I decided to create the backdrop as what the wall would be so we can add our items on top and kind of build a little bit of a mood board. I have my bed. I absolutely love this bed so much. It is from Crate and Barrel and Jake Arnold. So I'm going to be keeping this in the room and I love how it goes with our color palette already. I took advantage of one of cb 2 sales that they had over the holiday time and I got this light here. It's like the Bruna. This here is what it looks like on. I think it's such a beautiful light and I have this vision of actually almost hanging as a flush mount. So it's not really dropped as a chandelier in a lot of their inspo photos and how they share it and how it's also kind of sold. I think I want it to be almost flush mount mounted to the ceiling, but I got that on a great deal. And then over here, you could see this light, which these, I will actually share with you. About a year ago, I found these two oak style birdless pendant lights, and I haven't shared them yet because I knew I was going to save them for my bedroom. When I found them, I fell in love with them. They have these open slats on the bottom. I genuinely don't know how it's made because it's like one solid piece of wood. I have no idea. They're gorgeous. I took a photo, added it to the mood board because I want to put these on either side of my bed above the nightstand. I love the warmth. I love the grain. I kind of like how it channels the office a bit. Actually, I might just go ahead and duplicate this and we can put one on either side of the bed. And because my room is on the larger side, um, Soho Home was so sweet and they're sending over this incredible lamp. This Winona floor lamp from Soho Home I think is so cool. It actually has a leather wrapped 
base and then it has a linen shade it's a side table it's a cool piece because it's dual purpose but it has an interesting silhouette to it i love the mix of materials so that's everything i have an idea on in terms of inspiration colors and pieces i already own i completely forgot i have two chairs for my bedroom i found like three weeks back on marketplace i just pulled up the listing i got these leather armchairs for a hundred dollars and in these photos they kind of look scary and that's what i saw at first he says they're vintage so i ended up messaging and being like do you know anything about these chairs and he ended up saying that him and his wife got them at an antique shop in Belgium 25 years ago. They brought them to the U.S. and they said that they just had them forever and that it just doesn't fit in the new size of space that they got and they were actually moving in when I went and picked them up. These are like antique Belgian leather chairs. If I have these fixed up, these are like a four or five thousand dollar pair of chairs if you were to go to like a really nice antique shop and you were to see these. The shape on the back is just so, so beautiful. I just love these chairs so, so much and I got them for a hundred dollars, you guys. So those absolutely are going to be the chairs, and I know this photo right here is not that great, but those are the chairs I'm thinking are going to go in between the light. Now, of course, I am going to get the chairs kind of fixed up a little bit, make the tone a little bit more even. However, I do love that patina on there, and then fix some of the more intense kind of leather rips and areas. But I'm thinking those are going to be our chairs. Now, we do need some nightstands, and something I'll say is I just don't love my current nightstands. They actually just have two doors that open like this, and I really want a nightstand with a drawer like I find myself using a drawer so much more than like cabinet doors in a nightstand I just don't want to get out of my bed have to go open up the doors it's nice to pull a drawer out when you're in bed you know so I want to find some nightstands with a drawer let's start with marketplace okay so these are six hundred dollars and I mean it's three hundred dollars a nightstand but when you think about it like if you go to like any furniture store a nightstand is probably gonna be two three hundred bucks so these are really beautiful for the 24 wide which is pretty nice it would really match the pendants nicely though like it feels like they might go together and mesh well. Pop a little image of those in here. This is what I love doing, just kind of adding this and kind of seeing what the vibe could be. And I do really love the addition of that wood, any bit of warmth I can add to a space. So a nightstand like that could be quite nice. Um, here's a pair of 1970s Brutalist. Oh. These are kind of interesting. I wish they were a little bit wider, but I could actually see something like that working as well. Let's also just go ahead and do a little browse on the internet. Look at these nightstands. How wide are these dimensions? 31.25. These are almost like little tables, but they have a marble top on them. And they're on clearance. They're normally $7.99. They are $3.19 each. Really pretty. And the wood tone is identical to, I mean, the one of the light. They have a drawer on them, just like a simple drawer. So swap. Let's do. Oh, we can even put two. Oh my gosh, these are pretty. You guys, look at the greenish tone with the bed. I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna duplicate it actually and pop it over here. I mean, the clearance price is great too and it has like pretty marble. I think we might stick with that nightstand for, and something else I really wanna look for is an armoire or like some sort of big cabinet hutch piece that I can put my TV in that goes in front of my bed. The wall is just massive in front of my bed and I don't want a dresser. I don't use dresser drawers. I just don't use drawers when it comes to clothing. I really love hanging all my clothing. And I think a large armoire or like a hutch English pine cabinet, like something kind of just like natural, super pretty. You can see this is, was even like, this was actually a TV kind of console beforehand as well. This one's only $300, which is quite a decent price for such a large hutch. This is really great. I probably would swap the hardware on it, but that's beautiful. I mean, 300 bucks? I could probably get it a little less too. That's a good option. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. Look at this armoire. Over 100 years old distressed antique armoire, 46 by 16 by 70. That is so, so pretty. I love the finish, like the chippy paint finish on there. This is something where I might want to like screenshot this. We could pop it over into our board. Oh my gosh. I want to do the English pine one too. That one has a little bit more warmth, which is also super pretty. The painted armoire kind of has a bit more of an elevated designer feel to it, whereas the pine one kind of has a little bit more of a homey, just warm kind of feel to it. The one for $1,400 really for the price and for it being an actual antique, I don't think it's like insanely out of touch for the price point, but it is a little more expensive. I think I do like it a little more than the pine one though, but that's something I can kind of start looking for over the course, but this gives me a little bit of a good direction or kind of starting point for that. I also have the two pages, the linen 
Roman shade in my office area and I think I want to bring that throughout the entire bedroom as well and just go with a nice light kind of creamy white color something that's going to be a bit different from the walls because the walls are going to kind of take on a little bit of a yellow tone I'm going to screenshot these Roman shades and kind of add it in the background and I also don't know if I really touched on the rug Laloy was so sweet and they are gifting me a rug for my bedroom which is so kind of them and I ended up opting for this one which is a Balami collection this is the BEL dash 01 in the color oatmeal and I am basically getting this rug to go wall to wall in my bedroom not actually wall to wall but the size I'm getting is extremely large because I want it to fill up the whole room I want the sitting area and the bed and the nightstands like everything to kind of feel like it's on top of the rug and almost like there's a carpet in the room at the same time I love the texture of the rug here though I'm actually gonna add that photo in. I feel like this actually is probably a bulk of the furniture that's going to be added to the room. I also have this idea of putting an antique door on my closet. There's some great salvage lots in Los Angeles where you can find cool doors and I just feel like my clothes and everything I love the textures and colors. Whenever I walk in my closet I love the way it looks and I feel like having like some modeled or like old glass that just kind of lets you see in a bit would be great. So I'm going to screenshot this door and add it as well just to bring a little bit more direction to the space. I want to find a door similar to this, maybe that has glass on the top and then is kind of like more solid on the bottom. I feel like that'd be so pretty. Just found a random piece of art online as kind of a placeholder just above the bed. The headboard shape is really pretty with that dip in the middle and I think that kind of complements a nice piece of art in the center. Then we have our two wooden lights that are going to be hanging above the nightstands. I feel like for bedding that's going to have to be something that I might have to add a little later on just because I feel like I'll need to see some of this stuff in the room to get an idea for bedding. I also have a bottle tree kind of similar to this one a little smaller. Um, I've had it for like a year now so I know that's gonna also be going in there somewhere. I can actually get a little bit of a visual idea for how this is gonna look and I also came up with an idea while I was kind of looking at all of this and I'm someone that loves to interchange out art especially my bedroom. I would love to have a lot of different art that kind of ever changes that changes here and there or I can keep some pieces that I love. I'm thinking of actually turning one of these blue stripes that are at the top up here into a picture rail so adding a piece of molding all the way around painting that picture rail blue and then doing just another stripe above of it blue that way art could be hung off the picture rail absolutely anywhere in the room and I have a visual idea for hanging that as well that I think could be really cool I also have one of these little bobbin stools see how this little bit of darkness up here just kind of adds to everything it almost makes like everything come alive a little more so I think that depth from here and also from the already done wood floors because that's also going to be an element that's not really shown on here since I do have dark wood floors it's going to be really pretty in the space over on Lone Fox we're selling so Lou Jacobson. Oh my gosh, no, the picture sold out. I wanted to put this in mood board. I think it's so cute. So I think the silver is so pretty on the nightstand, maybe on this one. And then we can do, I love these little pops of silver lately, like something about silver and just have that over on our other nightstand. Oh, I love these kind of vintage style cushions from Soho Home are also so pretty. The little green pillow with the pattern is so cute. I'm going to uh, duplicate it and Maybe we can just do two of those on the bed and keep it kind of simple. But I'm kind of loving the direction as to where this is going. And I'm so happy we just put this together because it gives me a little bit more insight on what to start looking for on Marketplace and keeping my eyes out for. And also when I go thrifting or antiquing, I can also keep that in mind because a lot of times when I'm sharing bits like this, armoire over here is something you maybe could find at a thrift store. I am a thousand percent going to be ordering those nightstands from CB2. I hope they fit. I'm going to have to measure quickly after just to make sure sure. Love the little bit of green on the bed too. I think green could be a nice kind of accent color to add in with the yellow and the blue. And a nice solo pop of red somewhere is also probably necessary. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on my bedroom space so far. This is a room that we are going to be working on next very, very shortly. Honestly could potentially be the next video on the channel. And I'd love to know if you guys enjoyed this process of coming along, kind of designing a space with me. I know I did have some of the initial pieces already added just because I knew I was going to be using those. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these in the future on the channel. Until then, I will catch you all in my next one. And don't forget to also check out LoneFox.com because we're having our 15% off Valentine's Day sale right now and orders over 99 always ship free. So take advantage and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!